Oh, I have to put it. Oh. Kind of sad. I have to put him away. Oh well. I suppose it is understandable. Since I apparently need to go with her. Alright, so I'm now at the General Atomics factory with uh, Ada here. And uh, I did some improvements on her. I did some improvements. I, I upgraded her a little bit with uh, the little bit that I do have. Although it looks like I'm going to be needing the robotics expert perk. Which I don't actually have yet. So, I'll be working to try and get that, I guess. Okay, well, he's talking over there, but I'm not going to be paying attention too much anyway. There, I guess that works. I actually wanted to talk a little bit about things, but... Can't hit him from here. That's fine. That one's down. Uh go. Oh. Someone is still after me. Whoops. M uh. Okay, good. I'd rather not be stuck on things. I'd like to go over here and check this out. There we go. Now I can create many more modifications. Hi, kitty. Kitty. I think I've been here. Yeah, I've been here before. Yeah, I remember being here. I, I killed. Sup? Bye. Yep. Ooh. Mechanist holotape, although it probably doesn't really mean anything interesting. It's probably just him going, Whoa! That would be my guess, although I should look at it anyway. Uh. There you go. Attention, people of the Commonwealth. Nope. I, the Mechanist, have come to bring a. Nope. Nope. All of the nope. Alright, so, a couple of interesting things here. The Mechanists, you might or may not know, the Mechanists existed um, in Fallout 3 as a uh, hero. I keep hearing her moving around, I think it's a bad guy. Uh, let's see. Oh. That's fine. Uh, but anyway, the Mechanist was in Fallout 3, kind of as a good guy, kind of as a whatever. Um, oh, that looks problematic. Um, yes, Age of Peace, your face. Um, so the, the Mechanist was fighting against someone called the Ant Agonizer. Oh. Up there, okay. Interesting. Oh, I might have, uh, I might be near some, uh, rads. Yeah, 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 what's up? Yeah. 
No one told me that was there. Do I have something? I do. Okay. Uh. All right, both of my cats are out. Hopefully that'll wait for a little bit. Or they, they'll, you know, be fine for a bit. Yeah, I remember being here. Yeah, because I unlocked most of these places up already. Yeah. Hi there. Alright, so we should be able to head this way and go up a floor. Uh, anyway, so the Mechanist and the Ant Agonizer were these two super villains that uh, really didn't like each other. And uh, they fought each other constantly, which actually caused problems because uh, it basically caused a whole bunch of issues for everyone else involved with the situation. All the regular people were like, what the f f and, and then there was this one little kid who was like, dude, it's freaking awesome! And I was just like, well, whatever. I mean, there was a way to end it pretty uh, safely without too much issue. Oh, you went out there to murder. Thanks. I do appreciate it. Anyway. So there was this one little kid who, like, basically caused the mechanist after his, uh... uh one of his favorite robots was killed by, uh... Uh, the... An ant. And he got all freaked out and like, No, my favorite robot! So then the kid convinced him that he needed to be a, uh... Excuse me, there's rats. Uh, the kid convinced him that he needed to be a super awesome, uh, superhero. So the guy was like, yes! Except it didn't really work out that way. Because, uh... You know, obviously, with all the fighting going on, all the regular people couldn't actually live because there's ants and robots fighting out in the middle of the street. Because that's the best thing ever, you know. So anyway... As that was happening... He was just like, uh, oh, this one appears to be wanting to fight us. Probably because she's not very stealthy. Ada. Ooh. I'll take that. Ah, it's advanced. That's fine. This will probably be fine. Yep, that's fine. Uh, what was I going to do? But, there is another entirely different thing. Um, oh, that's wonderful. Um, so, in the Silver Shroud mythos, or, you know, whatever that is, um, the... Ooh. Nah. Um, one of the bad guys is actually this guy called the Mechanist. So now there's two conflicting theories on who the Mechanist is. Is it this one dude who's just like, effed up? Who wants to save his, his robot friend? Or is it this bad guy who wants to rule the world with robots? And the, the answer is it's probably both. Uh, my suspicion is that- I need more Radix. My suspicion is that the, uh... The kid from Fallout 3 that basically caused the Mechanist to become the Mechanist is the current Mechanist. Hey, listen, I need to do this, thanks. Because, the, depending on how you ended the, uh, the quest line, the superhuman quest line, um, you could either kill the Mechanist and the Antagonizer, or you can try to create some sort of peace between them. I'm gonna stay out of that, I think. Oh, that's a big thing! There we go. Keep standing in this radiation. You're going to get sick. 
yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're not, we're gonna stand up, and we're gonna change over to the thing that might do something good. There we go. Close enough. Oh, except for one thing. That looks really bad on this. Anyway. <laughs> uh, okay. So anyway, that's my my suspicion is that the current mechanist is the kid from Fallout 3 who caused the first mechanist to become the, 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 the mechanist. And, um... Although I also know, happen to know that there's, uh... Some interesting conversation stuff if you happen to be the Silver Shroud. Like, you know, wearing all that stuff. I don't- Why did I grab that? I didn't need it! Damn it. Um... <laughs> anyway. Um... Oh, I don't need to be up there. Pretty much done here, I think. Or am I? Am I? Am I? I don't feel like unlocking this, but I will. Anyway, so that's my, my thought process there, is that it's just... Uh, damn it. It's the kid from Fallout 3. And because he's evil and doing all the mechanist, the evil mechanist thing, the Silver Shroud's gonna be like, You are the mechanist! And the kid's gonna be like, No! I am his good guy. This is my thought anyway on that. Ugh. I think, I, I think it's Ada. Why am I hearing walking? Oh. I'm not the only one here. Oh. Come on. You know you want to open for me. Please. I'll be super nice about it. Yeah. That's it. I've already done this. Up! That's my bow cry. It's just sup. <laughs> Not that that's you know the greatest thing ever, but hey. All right, Ada, where you be? Ada, oh she's up there. She did her teleporting thing and now she's here. Hey, what can I do for you? Uh. Hey, Ada. From that robot. I retrieved many things. It had this strange device on it. Let's have a look. Impressive technology. If my analysis is correct, this is a specialized radar beacon. I suspect it's how the mechanist was keeping track of the robo brain you destroyed. Oh. That's the next logical step. I need you to install this beacon within me so we can use it to our uh. advantage. Uh. Are you sure? While there's only a 78.3% chance that I'm correct, I'd like to point out that it's the only lead we have. Well, it's like and you won't let him, like, figure out where Sounds you like are? Is, isn't I'm that, like, an issue? You'll need to use a robot workbench to ensure proper installation, and my presence will be required. To maintain <sighs> peak efficiency, I strongly recommend that we remain together until a radar beacon is successfully installed. Uh, Alright. Alright, come on. We'll do the thing, and we'll be cool, and I gotta be the Silver Shroud because that's, that's how I roll. Yeah. Alright, let's keep going.